Hey guys, it's Rally YT here, and today I'll be making a tier list on the best and the worst countries in war selection. Without any ado, like and subscribe, put down a comment saying whatever you want, and yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay, so for this tier list, I'm gonna start from one to the last, the worst country. Number one would be Germany. This is the best country in my opinion since it has everything in your need for victory like the famous Napoleon said Who whoever has the most guns wins and well once you have big Beretta you don't need anything else to win okay what, what do I mean by that so once you get to first industrial revolution you'll be able to put down factories and factories you should be producing as much ber big Berettas as you can this thing is extremely, extremely powerful and extremely, extremely useful. Okay, uh, what else? The you also have access to the flamethrower, but flamethrower, mm, I don't think it's that good. It's only good against China since China has all infantry pretty much. So yeah, and once you get to second industrial, you have access to the mouse panther. The pillbox, this canyon, which this can is it's useless. It's not worth building, and the ME262. Okay, let's get uh let's break it down actually. And the Goliath. Uh the pa let's start with the mouse. The mouse? Uh it's 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 a beefy boy. That's that's all it is. It's just a tank. It, it it'll take up it'll soak up damage for days and still be so and still be alive after that. Uh, you have the panther. Panther? Mm. Panther. What can I say about it? It's 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 a great all-around medium tank. It's got good damage. It's got good armor, and it's got good mobility. I mean, it's generally, I'd say, it's, generally speaking, I think this is probably the best like offensive tank out there. Heavy pillbox. Heavy pillbox is really good for fortifying up the canyon. This this thing sucks. <laughs> Don't build it. Just ignore this thing ever existed, and I mean 262. If you want, you could get this, but I don't recommend it. What I recommend you guys doing is get Germany and spam the big Berettas, and you'll win like a hundred percent of your games. Okay. For number two, I'll have to give it to France. France has everything you need. This France is probably the most new, like friendly. So if you're like f just started playing this game, I highly recommend France because it's really simple. All you ha have to do once you get industrial is research light tanks and spam the FT17. Like this thing will steamroll and stomp everybody. Uh, that's that's pretty much France. I mean. <laughs> I mean, you have all this other stuff, but you don't need it because all of them suck. The FT is really powerful right now. And for second industrial revolution, the strongest one would probably be the Goliath. This thing, well, this is not a thing, it's a beast, dude. This thing, this beast can one-shot any building in the game, except for the capitals, for these capitals. Other than that, it could one-shot anything, like towers, airfields. No problem. That thing will just drop its load and boom, you're done. And yeah, FTs, FTs will steamroll anybody. So make like 10 FTs and you'll you'll automatically win a win a game. Not 10, like I'd say 15 or 20 actually. Yeah, I think 15 or 20 FTs and you automatically win the game. It's just like Germany's big Beretta. Make like 10 big Berettas and you'll win the game. It's that simple. Hey, for number three, I'll, t I'll have to give it to India. India, why? Why India? Well, India, I think is the most underrated country out of ev all the countries in this game, since it has strong industrial revolution and strong second industrial re revolution. Why do I say that? Well, let's get right into it. So, once you're in first industrial, you have the machine gun, the infantry guy, and the trench mortars. Oh, well, this uh, how how should I describe this? The elephant machine gun is way too powerful as it is right now. This thing is OP. 
and it got a buff in the recent patch notes as well. And this infantry, this infantry guy is probably the second best infantry in the game. This this thing has relatively high HP and high damage. Like and the these two combined are enough to take down at least two or three other people if you get to get the using mass numbers. And for second industrial you have the wheel tank. <coughs> the wheel tank is well it's it's pretty much the FT on steroids. It's FT was more damage and more mobility. And you have the the tiger guy. Not the tiger guy, it's the tiger truck, but it sucks, don't use it. But if you wanna win for industrial, just get these two. If you wanna win for second industrial, you could just just spam this. Okay, for number four I'll have to give it to I'll give it to UK. UK has well I mean it this game does describe UK really well by saying that UK has the best infantry in the game and that is true. It has the overall like best infantry combo with LMG guy and the anti tank. But the but you only get this anti tank once you're in the second industrial, so watch out for that. So once you hit the first industrial you'll get this tank. The tank the Mark One tank and the LMG. These two are enough to win you win like uh, at least take down one guy who's in an industrial. And you also get access to dreadnoughts which are the most powerful like ocean based uh unit even in this game. As well as a C4. The C4 is yeah, it is what it is. It's good for sieges, like sieging somebody along with dreadnoughts, but rarely will you actually have to use the oceans. For second industrial, you get the Holy Fox. This thing is really, really powerful. It has, it has, I believe, 10, 10 to eight bombs, eight to ten bombs, I believe. I'm not quite sure on the number, but it has the largest bomb capacity in the game. So this thing would drop bombs like it's D-Day, not D-Day, but like nuclear war. And then you have the Churchill, and the Churchill. It sucks. Don't. Oh, it's not bad, but it's not good. You know what I mean? It's like average. And then the tank destroyer, the archer. The archer is uh, it's all right. I mean, it, it's good. It, it's good for like destroying things, obviously, tank destroyer. But yeah, it can only move backwards, so that kind of that's kind of lame. So, so its mobility generally sucks. But for industrial, the, f the first industrial, you can just get LMG with the Mark One. And for a second industrial, just get the Holy Fox to bomb everybody. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna have to give it to Turkey. Turkey has, in my opinion, the most annoying, like, units of all. Well, Turkey is, like, down on this list simply because it has no win condition. It has no tanks, no nothing. The only thing it has that could theoretically destroy capital is this the mounted RPG guy and you can only get him in second industrial so that's that's a shame anyways uh, for first industrial you have access to the light canyon the sniper artillery tower I believe the mortar as well I'm not too sure about that one since I don't own turkey I never played it but I have seen it in action it turkey is pretty strong but like if you're like 1v1ing, don't use turkey unless you really want to spam this and RPG the other guy. Anyways, I'll, I'll go into describing what each unit does. So, start from the left, improved mine. I mean, let's just read the name. It's just improved mine. I mean, what else, I don't know what else there is to it. I can This thing is really, really annoying to fight against since it has good range and good damage. But it, what it lacks is in is in durability and HP. So, but if you get a mass number of this this light canyon, it will be able to delete stuff, and it's surprisingly accurate in my in my in my experience. Like playing against them, then you'll have the sniper, which is well, it's a sniper. It's a long range infantry. It's. Uh, 
uh, calling it good would be an overstatement. It's not good. It's mediocre, I'd say. Then you have the artillery tower. This thing is really, really, really good. It has the long. It has. It doesn't have longest range. Well, it has the longest range for a tower, but not the longest range in the game. Then you have for a second industrial. You get this. This is probably the highlight of Turkey. Just getting like say 15 of these guys will just mess up anyone's day. You have the the troop transport, which is uh, you're not gonna use this often, and the border you're not gonna use this often as well. Then I'm gonna give it to China. Why, why is China so down on this list? Well, simply because China's first industrial is really strong, since they have the mounted guardsmen and the militia, so you could just mass these two and just obliterate some <laughs> like some guys' workers. But other than that, you know, for first industrial, you don't have much. You can't kill the guy. You could destroy his workers and kill all of them, but you know he could produce more workers. You know, and these two both suck against mount like the LMG towers, not the LMG towers, the MG towers. So keep that in mind. But but this mounted guardsman is really strong for our first industrial. But other than that, there's nothing good about China. That's why I'm I'm like conflicted to put this as second second worst. Since in my experience, Russia, uh, at least Russian Empire has like a win condition. This thing doesn't. This thing has the tanks, but these tanks you can only get uh, for second industrial, if I remember correctly. And none of them are actually that great. So China, it has great like dust first industrial offense, like offensive potential, but second industrial it, it sucks. A second industrial is where like the real late game's at. Unless you get rushed, which is a whole nother thing. <laughs> Lastly, we have Russian Empire. This is the one that I bought on my other account that I regretted the most since. If you, well, if you look at the lineup, it looks really good and all, but it's it's like a huge scam. Once Okay, for first industrial, you get access to the Tachinka, Soldier, Red Devil, in, uh, conscript and a death sickle. Well, let's get a move from the right to the left. For death sickle, it's just the worst howitzer. It does less damage than howitzer. All it has is a better range than howitzer, but but like it has longer range. It doesn't have a better range. That's all it has. It just has improved range and lower damage and lower mobility. I don't see why you would be using that. Then you have conscripts. These are these are conscripts. They're meat shields. That's all they are. Red Devil. Red Devil is not what it used to be. It used to be really strong. Now it sucks. Like since everyone else has like MG towers, this thing's gonna die really fast. Yeah, and then I have soldiers. Soldiers are mm, for first industrial. They're all right. For second industrial, they're actually really good since you have the grenades perk, which allows them to do more damage against buildings. Which is really good. But other than that, like general for infantry, this thing is eh, above average. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. And then you have the Tachinka. This thing is really good for anti air, but yeah, un this thing could only hit air targets. No, it cannot like be uh, like covering fire for infantry and all that. So, which makes it kind of, which makes it kind of suck, I think. And then. For second industrial, you have access to the tanks and rocket launcher. I'm gonna go from the rocket launcher. This thing sucks so bad. This thing has the longest range in the game, but it has the highest dispersion, and its and its rockets do no damage. Like this rockets can't even kill infantry or workers, because workers have to take two rockets, like in the face, to actually kill them. And two rockets, so all your chances of two rockets like landing on the same spot are really close to one another are really low that's why it, this thing sucks really really badly which is a shame because I actually like I, I actually thought this thing had potential to become like the best artillery piece in the game but it's not 
Then we have the T-34. T-34 has... Well, I mean, it's a T-34. Just, it's good, but it's also not good. I think it's probably on the lower end of the tanks, since it has low alpha damage, low armor, and decent mobility. I'll give that. But the only thing to do is T-34 rush, which is... I mean, it's good for second industrial, but... I don't think it's that good since there's a lot of counters to tanks like not not tanks but like a lot of counters to these light armored tanks and so is the next one next one is flamethrower tank it's well it's, it is what its name it, it is just, it's a short range flamethrowing tank I mean that's all it is it has no armor decent mobility and it shoots flames and it's only good against like infantry and workers that's that's all it does I mean it sucks against buildings and all that so that's why this thing kinda sucks the IS-2, IS-2 my only problem with the IS-2 is that it takes too long to get to the IS-2 like why you once you get to like once you start building and producing IS-2s Germany already will have like big Berettas like not already have they will have like tens of them not like I'll say 20 about 20 of these actually no that's a little extreme but like 15 I'd say 15 of those and though they will already be wrecking your allies so I have to oh it's, it's way too late and it costs a lot of resources to build that's why I think Russia generally it's not worth this thing needs buffs the greatest buff would be the rocket launcher to buff the rocket damage this the rockets do too low damage and uh, T-34 buff to the T-34 HP would be just so so helpful since it will make T-34 rushes more powerful and then I also suggest buffing China's tanks cause China's tanks they, they need buff they're like shitty, shitty versions of their western counterparts especially Churchill it's just a shitty 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 Churchill really and buff the infantry for second industrial cause I mean it sucks way too bad right now so those two are the countries you should avoid and these two countries are the ones that you should buy and I hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one